so um, the United States now is in political control and they call this part of what they call the Northwest Territory. Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Wisconsin are all part of the Northwest Territory. It's supposed to be free land, free states, no slavery here. The other 13 colonies, most of them have slavery, particularly the ones that are south. So they have slavery. The United States begins the Constitution enshrines slavery as part of the, the as a constitutional right of the American citizens. Slavery is occurring um, within the 13, most of the 13 colonies, but the Northwest Territory is not supposed to have slavery. But the French were here, and just so you know, they were enslaving Africans already, and Native Americans. They were enslaving Africans before the British took it in the uh, Seven Years' War. When the British arrived, after taking it in the Seven Years' War, they were practicing slavery too. So now you got the French and British practicing slavery on what we now call Detroit, which has now become part of the United States and supposed to be free territory. But the slavery is already existing. So a part of the Jay's Treaty, which is the treaty that ended the uh, uh, Revolutionary War, clause in it for Michigan is that the, the French and British who are already living here are allowed to continue practicing slavery. Only the new residents cannot practice slavery. So Detroit. I know you many times you hear that the Northwest Territory was all free. People came to Detroit to get their freedom. Michigan was a free state. That's only part of the story. The other part is for the people who are already living here, the French and British, they continue practicing slavery all the way up until the 1840s. So Detroit was not this haven of freedom for everybody. Okay. Right. So once it's taken over by the, the Americans, the, the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, you heard of him, sends his friend Augustus Woodward to be one of the administrators of this city. And Judge Augustus Woodward comes up with a plan for the new city. Right? So instead of being that fort that grew from the riverfront up to Fort Street, he starts the city here in 1804. In the 18, early 1800s, you start the city here. That's why this is called the point of origin. They tore down the wall, the garrison part of the fort, and so that became just a little town. It was a town they fought, or Detroit. From the river all the way up to what we now know as Fort Street. But he begins to, he says, I'm going to, when I do my new plan, I'm starting it right here, right outside the fort. Because basically he's trying to grow the city. There's already people living there. I want people to, you know, I want the city to grow. So he wouldn't start it where people already are living. He starts it here. This becomes a new point of origin.